Well, this really sucks. We were at the Seven Stars Resort for only two days, because we had to evacuate due to the megavirus epidemic in Meadowdale. Not to mention, we lost money due to our short stay and with the destruction of the RV. Now I have no idea what we're going to do to get the vacation spirit going on while staying home at the same time. Oh well, it's going to take a miracle to head back into the vacationing spirit. If I live in Borse for our son, because I was looking for guard duties for so long. I have to agree, this was Bruno's first amazing vacation, he even made some new friends. And it had to be taken away from him. The worst case scenario is that he is laying in his bed sad and missing the fun time we had as a family. I just can't believe it. For the first time in my life, I actually tried to have a nice time and have a good vacation, plus making some new friends. But instead, it had to be cut short and now I'm stuck here alone. Now I have no idea how I'm going to make staying home feel just as vacation-like as the Seven Stars Resort. Oh, I have an idea. I can't believe I haven't thought about this sooner. Hey mom and dad, guess what? What? Do you have money to reimburse us for the vacation that we would have potentially enjoyed if it was not for the megavirus? No, I have something even better. What I want you and dad to do is to turn on your VR headsets. Okay, but I don't think virtual reality is going to make up for our lost vacation. Trust me, you guys will thank me later. Okay, so on the count of four, we're going to be transported to a surprise dimension. In four, three, two, one. Wow. That actually worked. And this alternate reality beach looks absolutely beautiful. See, what did I tell you? This alternate reality can be even better than the Seven Stars Resort. Now let's enjoy our awesome staycation.